Dear students, I'm going to present to you the concept of the expected value of a real valued function of a random vector. And I would like you to concentrate on this one because there are a number of concepts involved. Sabse pehli baat ye hai, ye jo maine abhi kaha, it's a straightforward extension of the concept of the expected value of a function of a random variable. Yani, jo univariate case mein jo hota hai, usi ki ek extension hai to the bivariate or the multivariate case. So, let us consider the bivariate case and let x1, x2 be a random vector and let us define capital Y equal to G of x1, x2 as a real valued function of x1 and x2. देखिए इससे आपको परेशान होने की जरूरत नहीं है g of x1, x2 can be any function. It can be very simple. For example, y is equal to x1 plus x2, y is equal to x1 minus x2, y is equal to x1 square minus e raised to x2. कहने का मकसद ये है कि सम कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एक्स वन एंड एक्स टू विच कैन बी रिगार्डेड एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स वन एंड एक्स टू इसका नाम हम अगर वाई रखें तो उसके फौरन बाद हम ये नोट करते हैं कि वाई जो है देन इट इज अ रैंडम वेरिएबल इसलिए कि एक्स वन और एक्स टू इफ दे आर दम सेल्व रैंडम वेरिएबल्स देन ऑब्वियसली दिस कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दैम वट एवर इट इज that is also a random variable and if it is a random variable then we can determine its expectation by considering the distribution of this random variable but students first and foremost let us determine the conditions under which the expectation of y will exist एग्जिस्टेंस um, भी तो देखनी है ना क्योंकि समटाइम्स यू माइट ट्राई टू डू इट एंड इट मे नॉट एग्जिस्ट सो लेट इस कमेंस दिस पर्टिकुलर डिस्कशन विद फर्स्ट लुकिंग एट द कंडीशंस दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड इन द केस ऑफ अ सिंगल रैंडम वेरिएबल अ रैंडम वेरिएबल एक्स विल बी सेड टू हैव अ फाइनाइट or an infinite expectation according as whether e of x is a finite number or is it not a finite number if it is finite then of course we will say that the expectation or the expected value exists however if it is infinite if it is not finite we will say that the expected value of x does not exist pehle to ye note kare ki ye jo lafz hum bolenge ye hum kab kahenge uske baad zahir hai ke agar ye baat hai ke if if it is not finite then we say that it does not exist then naturally we would like to determine the conditions under which it will be finite so what is the definition of the expected value of x we all know that in the case of a discrete random variable e of x is equal to summation xi into p of xi and in the continuous case it is the integral of x into f of x so students this e of x will be finite if our summation or our integral converges absolutely agar ye absolute convergence agar ho rahi hai then it e of x is finite and we say that it exists then 
naturally, the next question that comes to mind is, what is meant by absolute convergence? Ye kya cheez hai? What is absolute convergence? Well, the concept of absolute convergence is not so difficult. It is as follows. The term absolutely convergent describes a series that converges when all of its terms are replaced by their absolute values. All right, let me say it in a different way. The term absolutely convergent describes a series for which the sum of all its terms remains finite when all the terms have been replaced by their absolute values. Whatever I'm now saying is also obviously to be represented in algebraic form. And students, it is not so difficult. So if we let capital X be a random variable of the discrete type with probability mass function P of XK equal to the probability of capital X being equal to XK, where K itself is one, two, three, and so on. Then if the summation of the modulus of XK multiplied by P of XK, the modulus of XK multiplied by P of XK, is ke all possible products ka jo sum hai. If this particular summation is less than infinity, in other words, if this particular summation is finite, then we say that the expected value of x exists and we write mu is equal to e of x is equal to summation xk into p of xk. Woi formula jo hum jante. Lekin abhi maine aapke saamne wo condition rakhi ke jiske hold hone par hum ye aage ye baat keh sakte. Similarly, if it is a continuous variable, then if the integral from minus infinity to infinity of the modulus of x into f of x. The modulus of x, not just x, but the modulus of, in other words, the absolute value of x into f of x, is ka integral, agar, if it is less than infinity, in other words, if it is finite, then we say that the expected value of x exists, and we write mu is equal to e of x is equal to the integral from minus infinity to infinity of x into f of x with respect to x. So the same formula that we are aware of. Ab jo kuch maine abhi kaha for a single variable x, similar logic applies for a function of the random variable x. So if g of x represents a function of x, then we will say that the expected value of g of x exists and is, it is equal to the integral of g of x into f of x if it is a continuous variable, provided that the integral of the absolute value of g of x multiplied by f of x if this integral is less than infinity. So you have seen that exactly what it was the extension. And now I am in a position to talk about the expected value of a function of two random variables, x1 and x2. So if both x1 and x2 are continuous random variables, 
and they have a joint PDF small f of x1, x2, then we will say that the expected value of g of x1, x2, yani a function of x1 and x2, the expected value of this function exists and it is equal to the double integral of g of x1, x2 multiplied by the joint PDF uh, f of x1, x2, provided that the double integral of the absolute value of g of x1, x2 multiplied by f of x1, x2 is less than infinity. Yani, again, a further extension of what I said before. And last but not the least, let us also consider the case when x1 and x2 are not continuous but discrete. So, in a very similar way, we will be able to say that if y is equal to g of x1, x2 is a function of two discrete random variables x1 and x2, then the expected value of y, in other words, the expected value of g of x1, x2 exists if the double summation of the absolute value of g of x1, x2 multiplied by p of x1, x2, if this double summation is less than infinity. Aapne dekha ke everything falls in place and I have tried to give you various concepts step by step, some general definitions and then applying in our situation. And this is the concept of the expected value of a real valued function of a random vector.